guys welcome back to my channel I'm an and you're watching for a good weekend let's get begin <music> this logo in our last tutorial if you have not watched the full tutorial of this i will link in the dis i will give it the link in the description or in the i button go check out today we will going to create the gui app for the mario a gui design for the mario run game so we will start with the first page these images can you can download it from google adjust the image to the to full uh, fully cover the artboard now add the cloud these all images can be downloaded from google Now place the Mario image. Now add the text. This will indicate the version of the game. Now select a rectangle. adjust it adjust the edges and uns and deselect the borders now select the color fill to black now copy the rectangle and as you see place it over it and make the color to white adjust the rectangle of purple and copy once again and now adjust the rectangle so it will create the layers three layer as you see follow the steps to create the create this
now select a rectangle and adjust the edges now select the solid color and place uh, and copy the rectangle once the down of uh, the bottom rectangle color would be red and the upper rectangle color would be orange as you see now select rectangle once again and place it over it Now select a circle, deselect the borders for it. Make the copy of the circle and place on the other side and place the both rect uh, circles below the orange rectangle Now select another circle and make the circle size to this small so it will create a pop up effect 3D effect.
now select another rectangle and adjust it in the center Now add the text. Now adjust the text in the center. Make the text color to black. Now copy the rectangle post uh, this button so we can copy it once again for our another button Now may uh, place the second button down to it below it. Now select the red, red rectangle 
and place below the second button also and change the text to how to play Now select a circle and just like the button copy the circle once again and make it red and adjust it as shown Now make the pop off effect like to the button Now select the image. This image is also so I have downloaded from the Google. Now select a circle 
all the bottom buttons to the menu now so uh, adjust the linear gradient to the shape as shown now add the image If you are watching this video for the first time or you are the first uh, new user watching the, my YouTube channel, please check out my other videos also because I have I post the videos after all three days and I make videos on UX, UX designing, graphic designing and different coding languages go check out my other videos also after this video and if you like the uh, my youtube channel please please subscribe because i need your support now add a, uh, add the title of the game Now make the text copy three times. Make the below text to object blur with amount 50% and the above second text to color as it is black. Now uh, for the upper text make it convert to path so we can add the linear gradient to text also if you want to add gradients color effect on the text make the text select the text and convert it to path 
so you can add the gradients to it adjust the gradient now select the now select the path and adjust the text as shown now we will create the second page which will show the levels of the games copy the first page uh, overall copy first page images and text and paste to the second page and delete this which i am deleting now add a rectangle over the artboard for making the blur effect make the rectangle color to black and make the opacity to 50 so it will create a 
blurish black background place behind the text and the rectangle and remaining the clouds and the back background and just the rectangle place the text uh, to of words add another rectangle Now add a circle Sorry Sorry Add a rectangle And adjust the Edges Now select another rectangle and adjust the edges and make it small and rotate it and copy it once again and rotate it and place over it place over the edge of the first rectangle and it will create an arrow if arrow adjust it Now select the both rectangles and add them 
and place it over the red rectangle Now select a circle Select a circle and adjust it. And make the curve circle to linear gradient as shown. Now adjust the circle Now add the star image, it will indicate the stars we got in the uh, this level.
now add the text and place it in the center first level now add a circle to create the pop up effect for this button also place it over the top of the circle now adjust the image and place it in the center of the circle We have uh, now I have created other levels you can create as the same and add the lock to it. Now we will create the next screen which will create the loading of the game. It will be created in six to seven eight uh, artboards so let's create it first select the image Now adjust the image to the artboard size. Now select the Mario image. We will play with this image in our in this loading screen artboard. We will create the running effect of the Mario image. So in the first artboard screen, we will make the Mario image to big, the that much big. Now place the text behind it as the shown now on the second page of the loading screen this is i have done okay i now i have skipped the part i have just uh, created these screens uh, place the mario image uh, forward to the forward where you have placed the image uh, before before the artboard before that artboard so it will create a ongoing effect of the Mario and make the Mario image size to small small so it will create that it is going to run in the small uh, small now we will create the prototype of it okay it is select the first artboard screen and on the play button make the interaction with type transition and easing would be wind up with duration one second Thank you.
now with the level 1 now for the loading screen will auto animate it with easing and duration 0 0.4 second without no delay for all you have to apply auto animate only Now we will create the start game page. I have created the start page like this you have to create it now we will move forward to the mid screen I have created this place the images on the uh, on the artboard now for the pause screen we will create it play uh, copy the start game uh, mid page images and place it here now add another rectangle to make the black blur effect now add a rectangle over it adjust the edges and make the make the color of the rectangle to black with no borders make the and copy it and over the rectangle second rectangle make the it linear gradient Now place the image 
and the buttons which we have also created so now we will create the exit screen place the similar rectangle like that and expand it and now add this image to it adjust it now add this text now add this coin image to it now select a circle and copy it two times now add the linear gradients to the circle as shown now add the small circle to create the pop of effect now add the images to it i have added the images now we will move forward to the next screen for this you have to just copy the mid game screen all images and the text which we have added to the mid game screen select all and copy and add to the start game screen second start game screen and replace the 21 text to zero for this uh, start game screen and mid game screen you just only have to place the images and the button we also have created for other screens so that uh, for so likewise you have to create for that also now we will create another screen for that we you have to copy 
the mario screen first screen of uh, images and place it over on the settings i have changed it and make the settings for this you have only delete the middle part and add the text and these buttons and the rectangles to create the music effect now we will create the final page of the app victory page which will indicate that we win the level for that you have to copy the mid game screen once again and paste it over it now add a rectangle over it to make the black screen effect for the remaining upper images we placed on that so it will blur them make the opacity to 50 now we will add a rectangle over it make it black and place it in the center now copy it once again and upper uh, rectangle make it for linear gradient Now add the star image. Okay, first of all, we have to add another rectangle. We will place the stars over it. So, add another rectangle. Adjust the edges. Now we will, now I have created that. Place the stars behind the, sorry, upper, uh, above the rectangle. Make the stars size too small
now add the text add another text okay now i have created this i have skipped the part you have just only have to create add the texts and the rectangle over it place the 50 text and the coin sign and for the dollar image i have select a rectangle and place the dollar text and some lines and circles So finally we have created this uh, GUI now we will prototype it only for the loading screen we have to auto animate and for other we have to add the type transition so now we will preview the app that's all for this video hope you have liked the video watch the full video if you like the video give a thumbs up and share with your friends and if you are a new user watching my youtube channel subscribe the subscribe button because in future i will upload more content like this on my youtube channel and press the bell icon it will notify you when i upload a new video so stay tuned to my youtube channel to get knowledge